Welcome to our channel Learning Math. In this video, we're going to learn an extra problem about parallelograms for grade 8. Now, let's start together. We have EFGH is a parallelogram, and A and B are the symmetric of E with respect to F and G. Let's start by drawing the figure. How to construct a parallelogram? First of all, in order to draw a parallelogram, we should draw two lines that are equal and parallel to each other, but one of them should be deviated from the other. Now, when we join them, we get a parallelogram. We have this parallelogram EFGH. Now, the symmetrics, with respect, uh, symmetrics of E with respect to F and H. How to construct the symmetric? We produce the same line by the same length. So here Fe should be equal to Ef and also we produce Eh by the same length. So we have Eh will be equal to Hb. Now we join B, G and A. Now let's continue together. In part A, show that the triangles FAG and HGB are congruent. How to prove that? Actually, triangles can be congruent by side, 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 angle, side, or angle, side, angle. In order to know how to prove, first of all, we should analyze well the given. Actually, we have a parallelogram EFGH. Then we can say that the opposite sides are equal and parallel. So we can say that EF is equal to HG as opposite sides of the parallelogram. But also, if you know something, we have just constructed a symmetry. Can't we say also that EF is equal to FA by symmetry? Well, aren't the three sides equal in this case? In particular, we can say that FA is equal to HG. Well, we have just found, it the, uh, found sorry, the first side. Now let's find the others. Also, we can say that we have EH is equal to FG as opposite sides of the parallelogram. And EH is equal to HB by symmetry. Then we can say that FG will be equal to HB. But instead of repeating the same proof, we can directly write it similarly, HB equal FG. Now what's remaining for us? We can uh, say that uh, they are congruent by side, 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 or side, angle, side. If we want to use side, 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 can we say anything about BG and GA, there's nothing to analyze about them. Then we should use the angles. Well, how to prove that these angles are equal? Sure, we need to find the angles that are between these two sides. Well, how to prove them? We have several methods. One of them, we can say that F salient is equal to H salient as opposite sides, uh, opposite angles, sorry, of the parallelogram EFGH. Then their supplements A, F, G, and G, H, B will be equal to each other. Well, another method, we can use the parallel lines of the parallelogram. Note that we have EF is parallel to H, G as opposite sides of the parallelogram. Well, Something else, we have E, F, and A are collinear since uh, they are bisymmetry. Then we can conclude that F, A is parallel to H, G. Similarly, we can prove that H, B is parallel to F, G. Then we can say that we have corresponding angles. So we can say that B, H, G salient is equal to H, E, F salient and also H, E. F salient is equal to the angle GFA salient. Some ask what's the meaning of salient? We should say it angle. Actually, the salient angle is the angle included between the two sides. There's another angle uh, which uh, completes it to 360 degrees. We call it the reflex angle. It's not required. Here we're talking about the salient angle. Well, now we can conclude that the angles GFA and salient and the angle B H G salient are equal to each other. Therefore, these triangles are congruent by side angle side. There's something else. Instead of corresponding, we can use them alternating with the angle H G F. Another thing, we can directly say that these two angles are equal since they are parallel side by side. Note that the first side H G is parallel to F A. 
and the second side HB is parallel to FG. Then we can directly say that the angles BHG salient and GFA salient are equal. They are parallel side by side. Now let's move together to part B. They are asking us, show that FAGH is a parallelogram. Now how to prove it? If you know something, we have just proved that in part A, HG and FA are equal and parallel to each other. Can't we say then that FAGH is a parallelogram? Its opposite sides are equal and parallel. Well, now let's move to part C. Now show that G is the midpoint of the segment AB. How to prove it? Actually, something that to prove a midpoint, we can just prove that BG is equal to GA. But if you know something, here in this figure, we have two sides that are equal. Now can't we say that this point is the midpoint of the segment that joins these two extremities? Sure not. Actually, in order to have a midpoint, it should not be only cutting the uh, segment into two equal parts, but also the points should be collinear, B, G, and A should be collinear. So in order to prove that G is the midpoint of B, A, we should first prove that B, G is equal to G, A, and also we need to prove that it's required to show that the points A, G, and B are collinear. Collinear means on the same straight line. Well, how to prove that three points are collinear? Three points can be collinear on the same straight line when they form a straight angle 180 degrees. Another method we can say that they are collinear when we have the segment joining the first two points A, B is parallel to a straight line D. And also the segment joining the uh, points B and C, the segment BC is parallel to the same line D. And we have B is a common point between these two segments, then we can say that the points A, B, and C are collinear. Now let's refer again to our exercise and prove that G is the midpoint of the segment BA. Actually, in geometry, we cannot move from part to the other before concluding. We have just proved that Sorry, we have just proved that FAGH is a parallelogram. Well, in a parallelogram, can't we say that the opposite sides that here we did not use in the proof, shouldn't they be then equal and parallel? So we can conclude that AG is equal and parallel to HF. Well, now we need to deal with the second part of BA. Well, here we need to deal with the segment B, G. Note that we have also H, F, G, B is another parallelogram. Note that F, G and H, B are equal and parallel. We have just proved them in part A when we use the congruent triangles. Then we can conclude that H, F, G, B is also a parallelogram since its opposite sides are equal and parallel. In this case, we can also deduce that the other Two opposite sides, which are BG and HF, are equal and parallel to each other. Well, now we have proved that BG and GA are equal and parallel to HF. Also, G is a common point. Now, can't we say that they are collinear? And also, we have AG is equal to GB. Therefore, G is the midpoint of the segment AB. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe with a great appreciation for your support for the continuity of our channel to support you by more and more information. Thank you for watching.